this is your home. You do lots of activities here, like watch TV, read, or do the washing. To do these things, you need electricity. There are many different power companies, each with their own electricity rates and price plans. So you could choose to buy electricity from a power company with the best price plan for you. That company sends electricity to your home and charges you whenever it's used. To know how much to charge, the power company installs a meter in your home that measures how much electricity you're using. Today, you can buy personal energy monitoring devices that measure how much electricity you use. These personal monitoring devices can be connected to the internet, allowing your electricity consumption data to be streamed to and stored in your private cloud. You can then use an app or a website for access to different services based on this data, such as carrying out a detailed analysis of your energy use, managing your energy consumption more effectively and finding ways to reduce your costs, or even monitoring electricity use on your mobile phone when you're not at home. A major problem faced by power companies today is peak time consumption. People often have very similar energy habits, switching on household items at the same time. For example, turning on the oven to cook just before dinner time, or using the kettle during half time of an important football match. This creates a large spike in electricity demand, which power companies can only cope with by always having extra generators running. This is quite wasteful and causes the cost of electricity to increase. Currently, the only way for your power company to know how much electricity you're using is to send a person to your home about once a year to read your meter. They also frequently send you a bill with an estimate of how much money you owe. This will all change by the year 2020 as the UK government rolls out smart meters. Like your personal electricity monitor, smart meters will always be connected to the internet. Once installed in your home, the meter will also send electricity usage data to your power company every 30 minutes. This means the power company will know exactly how much energy is being used all of the time. The power company will no longer need people to read meters, nor be limited to estimating the cost of your bills. But it doesn't stop there. By the year 2030, power companies will be able to offer electricity at different rates at certain times of the day, depending on the total energy in demand. So, putting the kettle on during half-time of a football match will be a lot more expensive than putting it on 30 minutes into the second half. This will encourage people to use more electricity at off-peak times. This is called peak levelling and will help power companies shape demand and avoid spikes where everyone uses lots of electricity at the same time. This means the extra generators will not be needed making power production more efficient. This is better for the environment and will bring the cost of electricity down. One problem is that with rates changing so frequently, it may become too complicated to understand which energy plan is best for you. Even when you do select a plan, it will be very difficult to know the best time to do things like your washing because the rates change too quickly. As a result, after the introduction of smart meters, we will start to see more and more agents in people's homes. An agent is a device you install in your home that helps you make the most of the electricity you buy from the power company. The agent, like the electricity monitor, keeps track of all your consumption. In addition, it also knows exactly what appliances you're using and when. It remembers things like when you usually sit and watch TV and how often you like to do your washing. It keeps this information in a secure location that only you have access to. 
It also has up-to-date information on all the current rates the power companies are offering. Whenever it sees that you could be saving money by switching to another company, it does so automatically on your behalf, but only with your permission. It might even do this more than once per day. The agent also knows the best and worst times to be running certain appliances. For example, when you load the washing machine at a time of day when electricity costs are high, it suggests a cheaper time for you to do it. It even volunteers to turn on the washing machine itself at the new time, in case you forget. The result is that you can go on with your life, secure in the knowledge that you are paying the minimum cost for your electricity, balanced with a pattern of usage you are comfortable with. The power companies are also happy because the agents help spread people's electricity requirements across the day, so they no longer have peak times that are very inefficient to provide for. This makes electricity production cheaper for you by making it cheaper to produce and cleaner for the environment.